Wait outside. I shall examine this boy and make my report. Afterwards, I'll take a look at you. And me? Yes, we can't be too careful. Isn't that a bit unusual, sir? Well, you're in a madhouse. Unusual behaviour is the order of the day. Only for patience. We've no privileged class here. It's democratic lunacy we practice. Take your clothes off, Sunday. Lie on the couch. What are we to do now? I can't undress. He'd spot the deception at once. Be calm. The situation, though desperate, is by no means lost. I shouldn't have behaved as I did, sir. I wasn't harmed. You enjoyed the experience? Would you enjoy normal intercourse? No, I might get pregnant. Or be the cause of pregnancy in others. He's just given away a vital piece of information. Do you think of yourself as a girl? No. Why not? I'm a boy. Do you have the evidence about you? I must be a boy. I like girls. I don't quite follow the reasoning, though. Uh, many men imagine that a preference for women is ipso facto a proof of virility. Someone should really write a book on these folk myths. <laughs> Take your trousers down. I'll tell you which sex you belong to. I'd rather not know. You wish to remain in ignorance? Yes. I can't encourage you in such a self-indulgent attitude. You must face facts like the rest of us. You're forcing the boy to undergo a repetition of a traumatic experience. He might go insane. Well, he's in a mental home. He couldn't choose a more appropriate place. Undress. My time is valuable. I can't go on, Doctor. I must tell the truth. I'm not a boy. I'm a girl! Excellent. A confession at last. He wishes to believe he's a girl in order to minimize the feelings of guilt following homosexual intercourse. I pretended to be a boy. I did it to help Dr. Prentice. How does it help a man if a girl pretends to be a boy? Wives are angry if they find their husbands have undressed and seduced a girl. But boys are fair game. I doubt if your very personal view of society would go unchallenged. Undress me then, Doctor! Do whatever you like and me prove that I'm a girl! If he's going to carry on like this, he's going to have to be strapped down. Would you take a look at Miss Barclay, Doctor? She refuses to undress in front of a woman. How about in front of a man? I haven't sounded her on the subject. Perhaps I might tempt her. I'll give it a try. She may be a nymphomaniac. If this lad becomes foul-mouthed, keep him on the boil till I return. I'll go through the garden, Doctor. I can get a taxi home. No, that is impossible. Strict security precautions are in operation until the patient is recaptured. When she is recaptured, can I go? No. Why not? Because you're the patient. Oh, 